American Airlines Boeing 737 that was carrying 174 passengers suffered a tire blowout during the takeoff at Tampa International Airport and was forced to abort its takeoff. American Airlines Flight 590 was scheduled to depart to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport from Florida. American Airlines Flight 590 aborted its takeoff from Tampa International Airport around 7.50 a.m. local time on Wednesday, July 10, after the crew reported multiple blown tires. Passengers deplaned on the taxiway and were bused to the terminal. The flight was headed to Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, said the Federal Aviation Administration in a statement. The agency stressed that the incident was under investigation. The footage of the incident shows the aircraft's back tire breaking into fragments and smoking as the plane accelerates down the runway. This caused abortion of the takeoff as the aircraft gradually slowed down and halted on the tarmac. Emergency services for Tampa International Airport were dispatched to the area. Oh! Our blown tire! Roll the trucks! Roll the trucks! Roll the trucks! Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky commented on the attack on Akhmatid in Kiev and spoke about the moments when he wanted to kill Russian leader Vladimir Putin. He said this in his speech at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation and Institute in Washington. For me, you know, it's always for everyone, it seems, it's very sensitive. I'm a father, I'm the president, I'm a person. And it's very, very difficult to lose people, it's very difficult to lose children. And you see these people, parents, when their children die. At that moment, you want to kill Putin. And all of us want this, very much, the politician shared. At such moments, it seems to him that Putin is drinking something and not thinking. Zelensky suggested that the Russian president is indifferent to what is happening in Ukraine. What's tragic? That it wasn't an attack on a military facility or something like that or that there was something wrong with the missile. No, the missile was definitely flying towards the hospital. And this isn't the first time, the Ukrainian leader emphasized. He added that the July 8 shelling was a signal ahead of the NATO summit. According to him, Putin showed the world that this is exactly how he will act. Zelensky said in Washington that Ukraine needs at least 128 F-16 fighters, while the West is promising 10 to 20. The problem with the F-16 is the number and the dates. Let's be honest, we had a solution with the F-16. Russia uses 300 aircraft against Ukraine every day, but we had a solution of 10 to 20. Even if there are 50, it's nothing. They have 300. We are defending ourselves, so we need 128 aircraft. Our allies have these numbers, the president said. Zelensky also called on the United States to lift restrictions on strikes on Russian territory so that Ukraine could bomb Russian airfields. We will be able to protect our cities from Russian guided bombs if the American leadership takes a step forward and allows us to destroy Russian military aircraft at their bases, the president said. In addition, he called for increasing the Ukrainian armed forces' capabilities to carry out strikes in Crimea. We can significantly limit Russia's actions in southern Ukraine and drive out the occupier from there if the American leadership helps us with the necessary capabilities to deliver deep strikes against the Russian military and logistics in our Crimea, Zelensky added.